Morgan um, said she was ready to go. She felt good after the essays practice. She felt good this morning at shoot around. And we figured we'd get her maybe half a game and see how she looked. And she felt great at halftime. And so we'll just kind of keep playing it day by day and, and keep our fingers crossed. Sixteen minutes was pretty much what the game plan was. Yeah. 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 She had a little bit of, you know, you could see a little bit. Um, we we mentioned it, you know, the first couple minutes, she didn't quite look herself, but uh, didn't take very long. She, uh, you know, she did a little bit of what Morgan does all the time, you know, and I think just having her out there was, was really good. Another great milestone for Brianna tonight. Now only Maya is above her in career scoring at UConn. It makes you wonder how Maya Moore ever scored 3,000 points <laughs> to, to look at how great Stewart is and that she's just it's like 2350 or somewhere around there. Uh, you know, Maya, Maya, was, uh, Maya, was, Maya was unique. You know, she, she was a... Uh, she was a machine to both ends of the floor. You know, she, she scored all the transition baskets. She scored all three bounds. She scored all three mid-range games. Her freshman year, she just had a much more productive freshman year. So that's probably the biggest difference right there. So early in the game. I think just being really aggressive. Once you play 2-3 zone, you want to find, or when the other team plays 2-3, you want to find the openings. And, you know, the high post, there was a there was an area for, for the jump shot, and, you know, I was knocking it in. Morgan Tuck back for this game. What is it like when you get to play alongside her? Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. I was thinking this yesterday when we had practice. You know, it was just awesome to have her back. Um, we worked together really well inside and outside, and, you know, I missed her. UConn had upwards of 40 points coming off of turnovers. Why is UConn so deadly when it comes to making opponents pay for their mistakes? Uh, I think, you know, we're so deadly just because we get our hands in the pack, passing lanes. We're active one through five. And, you know, when we get when we get the tip on the ball, most likely we're going to get it and we're going to get out into an open layup. And UConn is beating opponents by an average of 40 points. That includes the non-conference games against really good ranked opponents, too. When you have a performance like this, and the team does too, should every team out there fear UConn? Um, I mean, that's that's not for me to answer. That's to be left unsaid. But, you know, we have a big week ahead of us, and we want to make sure we start off right.